सो वेलकम वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स बैक टू वन मोर सेशन ऑफ योर ऑर्गेनिक रिएक्शन मैकेनिज्म सीरीज नो वॉट वॉट मैकेनिज्म डी वी लर्न वी हैव लर्न एलोल कंडेंसेशन डन वी हैव लर्न द रिएक्शन मैकेनिज्म ऑफ कार्बाइलामाइन रिएक्शन वी हैव लर्न द रिएक्शन मैकेनिज्म ऑफ गैब्रियल थैलामाइट सेंसेस नाउ लेट्स कम बैक एंड लर्न वन मोर रिएक्शन दैट इज डिहाइड्रेशन ऑफ एल्कोहल्स सो द रिएक्शन विच हैव चूजन टू द इज डिहाइड्रेशन डिहाइड्रेशन ऑफ एल्कोहल्स ऑफ एल्कोहल्स डन राइट सो इन डिहाइड्रेशन ऑफ एल्कोहल्स बेसिकली एज वी नो डिहाइड्रेशन इज नथिंग बट रिमूवल ऑफ वाटर राइट आई एम गोइंग टू टेक आउट वाटर यूजिंग वॉट sulfuric acid that's the reason you're going to name this reaction as acidic dehydration acidic dehydration means i'm going to remove water using or in the presence of acid medium that is nothing but sulfuric acid right so here basically i'm going to take alcohol as the name suggests what are alcohols basically they are hydroxy derivatives of alkenes isn't it how do we represent alcohols i have when i have to represent alcohols i am going to represent with this formula roh now what is r r is nothing but r means the general formula of this r is cn h2n plus 1 as i said they are de de derivatives of alkenes yes right so that's the reason we have written this general formula so what do we do here i'm going to take in first i'm going to take alcohol okay we're going to take alcohols rather which alcohol i'm going to take here i'm going to take primary alcohol remember so i'm going to take primary alcohol what am i going to do i'm going to treat or heat it with concentrated sulfuric acid so i'm going to take concentrated h2so4 so in this step what what happens during this when you are heating with concentrated sulfuric acid there is a removal of water isn't it yes there is elimination of water molecule when water molecule is eliminated from alcohol in this presence of this acid hydrogen so acid uh, means acidic hydrogen that is uh, with from the sulfuric acid what is formed there is going to there is a formation of an alkene remember alcohol to alkene so this conversion of alcohol to alkene in the presence of acidic hydrogen or acid medium is called acidic dehydration this whole process of conversion of alcohols to alkenes in the presence of acid or concentrated sulfuric acid is called acidic dehydration of alcohols so one important thing this is also an example of beta elimination reaction what is beta elimination reaction that also we'll see Ele uh, example of beta elimination reaction that let's see uh, the step let's see the reaction and let's see the mechanism also for this right so in the first uh, step of acidic uh, dehydration what am i going to do uh, my requirement is i have to take an primary alcohol for this isn't it right so that is what we said primary alcohol getting converted to alkene in the presence of an acid medium that is uh, that, that's the reason uh, we are calling this acidic dehydration we taking out water in the presence of an acid because what sulfuric acid is a dehydrating agent yes so uh, i'm going to take primary alcohol what is primary alcohol first let us write the functional group alcohol is oh okay so primary alcohol i'm going to take two carbons primary alcohols are those which have okay h h right yes so what is primary alcohol primary alcohols are those which have three hydrogens one yes just see here one oh group on one side and remaining all are hydrogens yes and what is secondary there are two alkyl groups here means basically this is only one alkyl group in one oh and two hydrogens primary if it is secondary there will be two alkyl groups here if it is tertiary there will be three alkyl groups here right so i'm going to take a primary alcohol or ethanol basically primary alcohol or ethanol right now so the same primary alcohol can i i'll i'll write it in this way just see same thing for the easy mechanism so i'm going to write alkyl group here done 
I am going to write OH here. Simple. H and H. Primary alcohol. Yes. Now I am going to treat it with concentrated sulfuric acid. H2SO4. It's a dehydrating agent and you are going to heat it. In this first step, water is eliminated from this. Because you are heating with concentrated sulfuric acid, water is eliminated. Right, so this is alpha hydrogen, this is uh, alpha uh, carbon, this is beta, and from wherever there is OH, we are going to take <coughs> hydrogen from beta and OH from alpha, and this bond shifts in this direction, and you are going to get alkene CH2, CH2 plus water molecule. So, this is ethene done. Now, what is the ease of dehydration of alcohols? Let us write that. Always remember the ease of dehydration. What is the order or how it goes about? Let's see. The ease of dehydration is always remember tertiary alcohol. Tertiary alcohol, ease with secondary alcohol. It's an ease with, great ease with primary alcohol. Okay, of dehydration takes place in this order example if i take tertiary all three alkyl groups oh greater secondary one oh and oh tertiary okay this is tertiary this is secondary now i have to write primary alkyl groups so this is the order remember right so all this is how it goes about in the dehydration process now when i have to write the mechanism part of this hope students this is clear for you all now let me write the mechanism so in step one mechanism of dehydration of alcohols let us write the heading so mechanism of dehydration of alcohols mechanism of dehydration of alcohols right first thing you're going to take primary alcohol this it you're going to take primary alcohol <coughs> this step one what is going to happen sulfuric acid whatever you're going to take that is your concentrated part of this this dissociates into hso4 minus and h plus this is done any doubts please hope this is clear there's nothing big logic in this so simple i have taken the dehydrating agent it dissociates into hso4 minus and h plus that's done now let us take the primary alcohol so carbon as i said primary alcohol has one alkyl group that is here ch3 and one oh and h now i'm going to take this h plus here one two three four five six seven eight right In the first step water molecule is eliminated to form ethyl carbocation so whatever is there this one this elimination of water molecule right so first this attack of this h plus to this oh minus what do you get h h h first carbon second hydrogen hydrogen o one h and one h hope this is clear right students yes now one two three four five six seven eight and there is formation of protonated alcohol right so here what happens there is a cleavage of the bond and this bond shifts to this oxygen so what is this this is nothing but prote protonated protonated alcohol okay then from here from this step as water is eliminated i have to write this water isn't it here h2o c h hydrogen hydrogen c hydrogen hydrogen plus what is this called this is nothing but the formation of ethyl carbocation this is ethyl carbocation students now i'm going to take a new molecule of alcohol again right take a new molecule of alcohol minus h plus 
so there is a shift of bond again a new molecule is taken this is lost finally there's a shift of H and I'm going to get carbon carbon double bond carbon carbon what is the name of this compound this is nothing but ethene right yes students so what a molecule here important thing is hydrogen from beta position this is alpha this is beta hydrogen from beta position is eliminated always remember hydrogen from beta position is been eliminated that's why it is beta elimination right students right right now let us take one more example so if i take ch3 ch2 ch2 this is also primary only isn't it because this <coughs> alkyl group now i'm going to take concentrated sulfuric acid as i said on heated from where it is removed which is this this is alpha this is beta this is alpha this is beta from where is the hydrogen eliminated it is always eliminated from the beta carbon yes students so what do we get when uh, um, double bond OH from here H from here yes students right so OH from here H from here finally what product do we get CH3 CH double bond C CH3 so what is the name of this compound it is butene okay instead of butene here in this case it is butene this is according to Seidzev because uh, according to Seidzev rule more stable alkene is formed isn't it where uh, chances of two alkene combinations the two alkene combinations are formed but here the uh, the most stable product is butene yes students let's see the main reaction mechanism for this yes so how did I get this let me draw one line and see first step as I said sulfuric acid is dissociated into H plus and HSO4 minus this is done okay let me put this is one in the second step I'm going to take the same alcohol CH3 CH2 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 OH 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now I'm going to take this H plus from sulfuric acid correct there is attack of this hydrogen here yes what do we get CH3 CH2 CH2 one more CH2 then O H and H so one two positive charge this is called protonated alcohol what is this called protonated alcohol okay. next step what is the next step I hope this is clear student this protonated protonated alcohol whatever is there right we are going to remove water molecule from that let me write that protonated alcohol ch3 ch2 ch2 o h and h right there is a cleavage of the bond here so remove water molecule what plus what does it look your ch3 1 2 1 2 3 so ch3 ch2 c h 2 c h uh, ch3 is here written ch2 is here written this ch done one more ch and plus isn't it students the cleavage of bond plus what is this called this is called primary carbocation this is primary carbocation is formed isn't it right so primary carbocation is formed done now rearrangement happens at this stage let's write that the third next step this is your fourth step here rearrangement rearrangement takes place so during rearrangement what will happen there is a hydride shift so during this process what happens there is a hydride shift during this process what happens due to this hydride shift there is a secondary carbocation which is formed primary is over now secondary is going to form let's see this ch3 ch2 c 
we have written earlier also H this positive charge here the primary carbocation now this hydride from here is going to shift to this carbon what is this called 1 comma 2 hydride shift hydride shift remember this so how does this look now it's going to look like ch3 is here now we got ch2 c because the hydrogen has shifted to this carbon this it gets, it gets up a positive charge and this is ch3 then students what is this called this is called secondary carbocation because it is a hydride shift one to hydride shift now let me take the same secondary carbocation now unstable carbocation isn't it this is unstable secondary carbocation is unstable so what will happen this unstable carbocation it loses a proton from which position from beta position that's why it is beta elimination right let me take that so ch3 ch2 c h now the secondary carbocation is here correct now let us write this this is unstable unstable so what does it do here it's going to lose it loses proton from which from beta position it loses proton from beta position done students yes so when it loses proton i'm going to take out proton from beta this is alpha which we have taken this is beta right so it's going to uh, the earlier shift same thing we are going to take out a proton from here that is from the beta position and finally form an alkene now let's see how does it uh, happen so let me write this h as one hydrogen here let me write this h this is done students yes there is removal of hydrogen beta position there is shift of this bond just into this carbon what do i get ch3 ch double bond ch then ch3 so this is nothing but your but 2 in right students so this is your complete reaction of dehydration as i explained step by step let me take out from the first page i have written three different pages for dehydration first i said in acidic dehydration primary alcohols are getting converted to alkenes by dehydration process right then i have said i have taken the primary alcohol which i have taken here is, is nothing but ethyl alcohol done so i said this is also called beta elimination and i have also shown showed you how it goes about but here this dehydration for simple thing not a problem we just directly got we have eliminated water and we got ethene but what is the order tertiary secondary and primary this is the ease suppose if i have to write the mechanism i've shown you the mechanism how it forms finally i get an ethene but in the case of suppose if you have an alcohol like this it's going to form follow sets of rule where <laughs> the product which we get is butyl toin so i have shown step by step how it goes about how i get how there is rearrangement or the hydride shift how primary carbocation gets converted to secondary carbocation now finally to form a stable product there is elimination of h plus right beta elimination and finally there is formation of double bond between two carbons where but 2 ene is a major product so this is your acidic dehydration students so thank you for watching hope this is clear students any doubt any uh, anywhere uh, please let me know in the comment section i'll show you again from the first please note it carefully all the three pages which i, I have written so that you have a clear your notes of everything so in the dehydration process step this is the first reaction step students you can pause it and note it right after this the next step is this i have shown you this reaction this is the complete reaction process then after this i have taken one the mechanism step for the whole thing yes after that i have taken one more example of this what is this alcohol one two three four propanol i have again shown the sets of uh, elimination and sets of rule and finally this is the final me mechanism of reaction thank you for watching stay connected i'll meet you again with one more name reaction